Member for Chisholm. Mr Speaker, I am delighted to move this motion this morning as a very proud member of the Turnbull government. We in the coalition recognise that the ability of our local communities to thrive and prosper relies on a federal government's capacity to balance the books. We appreciate how a stronger economy ensures that essential services are guaranteed and note that the alternative approach is to have no plan. Like myself and like many on this side of the House who have worked in and run businesses, and unlike those on the other side, we know the well-known adage from the business world that if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And that is the case for those in opposition. They have no plan. Unlike the Labor Party, we on this side understand that guaranteeing essential services like health care, education and childcare does not come from big promises and reckless spending. Instead, it comes from the type of fiscal responsibility and sound economic management that the Turnbull government is proud to champion. Guaranteeing the essential services that Australians rely on means that we can make critical medicines available to patients, support mental health initiatives, support our hospitals and provide resources into areas for medical research. Having a strong, well-managed economy means that parents can be comforted that the Turnbull government has ensured childcare and preschool support, including access to 15 hours of quality early learning and more accessible and affordable childcare. For schools and education, having a strong economy means that over 20,000 students in our community will enjoy a 50 per cent average increase per student for fair, real needs-based funding, school funding over the next decade as part of the Turnbull government's education reforms. It means that older Australians have more secure choices to lead longer and healthier lives, including more home care packages and aged care funding, including with better health care, demonstrating our government's respect to those who have built modern Australia. This care for education, for senior Australians, for health care and other essential services can only be supported by targeted measurable funding that only a responsible government like ours and a strong economic outlook such as the Turnbull government's plan for a strong new economy can provide. Where Labor and Bill Shorten had 27 special secret school Mind funding the, deals— uh, member for Chisholm to refer to members by the correct title, please. Oh. I withdraw. Sorry, my apologies, um, Mr. Deputy Speaker. Where Labor and the Leader of the Opposition had 27 special secret school funding deals and focused only on providing for union mates or the proposed tax grab from pensioners and older Australians on low incomes, the Turnbull government knows that Labor's typical uncontrollable spending spree is not a substitute for reform and for de delivering real outcomes for all Australians. Labor forgets that the essential purpose of government is to create the foundation of our society that ensures quality of opportunity. The Turnbull government's impressive economic growth is also harnessed by having just passed our personal income tax plan through the parliament. We have ensured that all Australians paying tax will be better off. Mums and dads, retirees and hard-working students doing part-time work will be paying less tax and will be rewarded for their hard work, both now and into the future. Deputy Speaker, after years of working in business, I know firsthand the pride and sense of dignity that comes from work and reward for effort a sentiment I know is shared by all hard-working and aspirational Australians. Seeing money earned through work going down the drain through the reckless spending of the Labor Party and offensive tax grabs is an insult to Australian taxpayers, Australians who have worked hard their whole lives only to have their hard-earned money stolen to prop up Labor's habit for always focusing on higher taxes to satisfy their relentless spending. We on this side of the House are about lower taxes. Those in opposition are about higher taxes with lower return. When Labor run out of money, they simply tax more. They come after the money of hardworking Australians. They don't realise it's, it's the money of the hardworking Australians. Deputy Speaker, we on this side, the Turnbull government, are proud of our track record in delivering for Australians, and I'm personally very proud to be delivering so many tangible and measurable initiatives locally in Chisholm thanks to our strong economy. Australians can rest assured that the Turnbull government has a plan, a plan for growth, a plan for job creation, and a plan that grows our economy and provides and guarantees the essential services Australians rely on. The Turnbull government is building our economy and the future of Australians. Our health and our schooling are secure. I commend this motion to the House.